I spent about a year looking at lots of different schools for Martin and Emerson. Um, as twins who were severely physically disabled with cerebral palsy, you know, the initial thing to look at is the schools around you because you want to find somewhere that's not too far away. And then, um, just by off chance, someone mentioned this school called Pace in Aylesbury and never heard of it. Um, we thought, you know, let's give it a go, had a look at a website. And, you know, from the moment we talked to them on the phone, they were just incredibly receptive, incredibly positive. We've been here five months now. We moved here in January from London um, when Marcy and Emerson were four. And it's the first time in, well, it's the first time since Marcy and Emerson were born that I've felt that my life might become anything approaching normal. In London, there were no schools that I felt could accommodate Marcy and Emerson because they're really difficult children. They're very different every day. So some days they can go in chairs, some days they can't go in chairs. And there wasn't anywhere that I felt that would be able to um, meet their needs at all. And luckily we found out about Pace School and we came to visit um, when I was pregnant with our next child. And we knew immediately on meeting Heather that it was the place for them because within five minutes she was getting them to do things that they'd never done before and they were just really happy. Now we spent a long time looking for somewhere like Pace um, and I think it's absolutely unique in terms of the skill, the expertise, the ambition, the knowledge. There aren't that many places like that and I guess it's, you know, it's great for us, I mean, you know, we've, we've had a pretty tough first four years and now we're at a school where, you know, I know for at least for the next seven years or so they, you know, are in a place where I feel that they are with the best people they could be. The problem is actually was well, what happens after they're 11 because they are making progress but you know at the same time they still have very complex needs and the thought of them going back into a mainstream school I just you know I, I can't envisage how that's going to work so you know when we heard that Pace had ambitions to start a secondary school um, we thought well that's fantastic that's brilliant and you know that is really still what many of the children, not just mine, at Pace will need. So I think it's extremely important that you know, we do what we can to make that secondary school project a success and a reality. Um, and I hope anyone watching this can do what they can as well to help as well. Isn't that lovely work? Well done. So they've been here now five months and in that time, they've definitely made progress. Um, I generally don't notice their progress because I see so much of them that other people say, oh, this has changed and that's changed and I never see it. Um, but most definitely, um, things have changed. Emerson is just, his self-esteem is a lot higher, I think because he comes somewhere every day where people can communicate with him and they enable him to do things. He's just a happier boy. Um, and when he's on his own, he doesn't sit and stare into space, which he used to do. He, you know, if you look at him carefully, he's trying to do things and trying to play on his own, which is amazing. And Marcia, since we've been here, um, I think is learning to just gain some control over her body that she didn't have before. And she's also almost toilet trained, which is a miracle. I never ever thought that, that would happen. Pace is a very special place. Um, there aren't that many places that we've encountered where there is such a depth of knowledge and expertise and, and ability to, to bring the best out of children like mine who have really complex needs. But I know for a fact, just having looked at lots of other schools, that there are many kids like mine who similarly you know, aren't making the progress that they could do, aren't having all the potential tapped out and aren't getting the best quality out of their lives. And I guess the real Shame is that at the moment, you know, Pace has the potential to help more people, but just doesn't have the resources, you know, doesn't have the finances to do it. So, you know, anything that can be done to sort of help them increase their ability to help more children, I think is a great thing. <laughs>